Hey guys, I'm back with another awesome content and this time around is about the late Nigerian prophet that goes by the name TB Joshua. A lot of things happened during that burial and people have been asking a lot of questions and I'm back to answer those questions. But first, you're welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube, it's Vibes Plus and I'm yours truly ITL, the vital title, keeping it real. Vibes Plus is your blog to entertain me just trending issues and celebrity gossips. Well, if you're new here, do me a favor by smashing that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. And... If you're a returning viewer, you guys are giving me the firepower to keep pushing this great content. Do well to like and share this video on all your social media platforms. Well, let's get back to the trending questions people have been asking about the burial of Nigerian prophet TB Joshua. Well, the first question people were asking is that why was the renowned man of God TB Joshua displayed in the clear view casket for everyone to see? which a lot of people say it's not supposed to. Well, I have an answer for this question. First off, clear view caskets are caskets made from fiberglass and it's not used for every single person. It's not for general purpose usage. It's only used for dignitaries that a lot of people will want to see their remains before they get buried. Like head of states, big personalities, just like TB Joshua. And most of these glass caskets are not purchased for the remains of the loved ones to be buried inside, but rather the glass casket are normally rented and it goes for a very huge amount. I searched for the amount to rent one of these caskets on clearviewscasket.com and it's around $8,000. That's a whooping sum. But if you're buying this Clearview casket for yourself, it goes for around $12,000. The reason for the usage of the Clearview casket was for the members of the church to watch his remains before he's being buried. Okay, the second question is that a lot of people want to and are asking how much does the casket of the late TB Joshua worth? But come, why are people always so inquisitive? Why do you want to know if I may ask? Well, the man has lived a good life. He has helped a lot of people and he has impacted a lot of lives. Why do people still want to know what the worth of his casket is? Well, I've searched online for different samples of such casket. I came across some. Surprisingly, this casket is equally expensive. The casket lead TB Joshua is buried inside is somewhere around ten to twenty thousand dollars worth. Well, in dollars it sounds as if it's small money, but if you convert it to naira, it's a huge sum. And I think that sum is befitting for someone that has impacted life through his act of philanthropy. He deserves much more better than that. If I'm the one to purchase the casket, too, I don't know what you guys are thinking. And. A lot of people have been bringing this matter up. I don't know why people always like digging people up. This man is dead, allow him to rest. But people were asking why is it that the church insisted on burying this man in the synagogue instead of taking his remains to his village in Akoko? Why? People have been asking. Well, truth be told, even if I'm part of the leadership of that church, I wouldn't allow his remains to be taken back to his village. The synagogue church is T.B. Joshua's hurt and sweat, hard work and years of dedication. And that is where his stronghold is. Aside from the members rejecting to allow his body to be taken to his village to be buried, burying lead T.B. Joshua in the synagogue church will serve as a reminder every single day you walk into that church. And it will be another form of his presence being in that church for eternity. Well. Well, this is simply like burying someone in his own house after he died because the synagogue church is T.B. Joshua's house. So you people should stop bugging. You should please allow this man to rest in peace. Another question a lot of people are asking is that now that T.B. Joshua is no more, Will the church continue with his philanthropic act or will they stop? Because a lot of people in Nigeria depend on TB Joshua. A lot of poor people depend on this man. You guys should watch his TV. 
if I don't know if the TV station would actually replace some of the good act this man has been doing. He shares a lot of money. He shares food stuff. He sponsors people for medical treatment. He sponsors people for education. And he actually runs community projects in different countries apart from Nigeria. Apart from that, TB Joshua even settled disputes between head of states in different countries. So people are asking, will the church continue? Well, as for that, I don't have a clear answer about that. What we need to do is to step back, watch as things unfold, and see what will happen in that church. Another question is that, who is going to succeed TB Joshua now that he's no more? Is it the wife or is it an elder from the synagogue church? Well, I'll actually keep my fingers crossed once I get any information, I'll definitely let you guys in. Trust me, I'll do that for you guys. Well, this is all I got for you on the trending questions people have been asking after the demise of TB Joshua. Please, if this is your first time on this channel, kindly do me a favor, smash on that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop another update. And if you're a returning viewer, God bless you for always keeping tabs on Vibes Plus. Kindly like this video and share it on all your social media platforms so that your friends will enjoy this awesome content. Do have a lovely day. Peace.